Hi guys, today we're going to talk about going on holiday with your ferrets. Ferrets are living the life of luxury. Well, the sister said stuff in the bag. <laughs> well, Sorella. Plenty of ferrets. <laughs> Who's more important? The ferret. <laughs> My sister doesn't love me as much as the ferret. <laughs> <laughs> Ferrets. Taking your ferrets on holiday can be an extremely rewarding and bonding experience. However, some things that you need to consider before taking them on holiday are Think about where you're going to stay and find out whether ferrets are legal where you're going. For example, in Queensland they're illegal or in California they're illegal. So the last thing that you want is for your holiday to be ruined by your ferrets being confiscated uh, and possibly euthanized. Also think about where they're going to exercise. Are you going to go to a pet friendly place where they're allowed to run around? Or perhaps are you staying with family where, and is there a designated area where they'll be able to have a run around? Alternatively, if your ferrets walk on leads, then you can take them for walks as well, which we have been doing. However, you'll also have to watch out for dogs because you don't want your ferrets to become their meal. Some things that you'll need to bring on holiday with you include a holiday cage. It might be a smaller cage to what your ferrets are used to, but it fits in the car. A pet carrier, just in case you want to go somewhere uh, and you want to make sure that your ferrets are safe. Leads and harnesses, make sure you take those as well if you're planning to take your ferrets for a walk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> make sure you take their food and make sure that you have enough to last you for the whole holiday. Also make sure you take a water bowl so that they have plenty of water as well. Don't forget the kitty litter so that you can change their cage. The pooper scooper, last thing you want is for you to be picking out the poop with your bare hands. That could definitely ruin your holiday. <laughs> Plastic bags so that you can put the poop into and dispose of it appropriately. A bribe, so for example, you might want to take Nutrigel if you have trouble with your ferrets um, wearing a harness or just in case your ferrets get into trouble and you need to bribe them to sit still. Before you go, make sure your ferrets are microchipped as well, um, just in case they do get lost. Always remember to do is to research where the nearest vet is and one that knows how to deal with ferrets, just in case of an emergency. And if there aren't any vets that specifically know about ferrets, then it might be worth taking your usual vet's number so that you can take the ferrets to the new vet in case of an emergency and they can call your usual vet just to get advice. Before you leave, make sure that your ferrets are also up to date with their vaccines. So make sure that they have had their usual flea, heartworm, tick monthly treatment as well. Yes, Sammy, we're on holiday. It's beautiful. Honey, you're beautiful. The best way of traveling with your ferrets is by car. Um, just because you can adjust the temperature of your car and you, you can always keep an eye on them. Always make sure that you stop for breaks, for play breaks. Never leave your ferrets alone in the car because you don't want them to suffer from heat stroke. Which could, which could potentially turn out to be fatal. In countries where there is rabies, even when you, if your ferret is up to date with vaccinations, make sure that you do not let strangers handle your ferrets because they could, because if the ferret bites, then it could potentially get confiscated and put to sleep, which would definitely not be a very good holiday. I hope you have a wonderful holiday with your ferrets. 
it is a fantastic experience because you do tend to bond with them and get to know their personalities a little bit more and it's generally just a really rewarding experience if all goes well. So, hope you have a wonderful holiday with them. You want to go explore, don't you? Yes, you do. We're going to go explore now. <laughs> today's video if you have any questions then please let me know and I'll try to get around to doing a video about it as soon as I can and make sure that you subscribe to the channel we have a new video up every Monday Bye.